Hi my dear Capricorn, welcome to your January 2018 greeting by Maya. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching. Uh, first of all, I wish you all the best in the new 2018 year. I wish you wealth, health, happiness, success and love and anything else you wish yourself. Let's see what is coming on for you in the first week of January. In the first week of January you have Empress um, Upright. It's time to relax after holiday, after New Year. Um, everything is okay, everything is fine, everything is well. Um, you are successful in every area of your life in the first week. Um, there is time of great productivity and your efforts are paying off. Um, it's, it's time to nurture yourself and others, to take care of, of each other, of your supportive family members as well. Um, so this is very good time for you. This is week one is very good. It looks like very good after holiday. The second week you have King of Pentacles, he's kind of manager guy. He can um, do anything he takes on, any project he takes on, finish it and he's, he does it successfully. He's master of finances as well. It looks like your financial area is going to be good in the week, week two. Uh, he, he's guy of worldly power and strength. Um, in, in terms of practical matter, everything, everything is, going, is going well. You're going to be able to meet your challenges of the work and um, family and any anywhere in your area that you moving on. Um, so he, the motto of this guy is, um, I manifest all I desire. Whatever you take on, you is going to be successful. You're going to finish your project with um, success. Everything is going fine for the second week for you. But um, third week, is come, there are some um, upcoming changes for you. Um, after the period of success and um, prosperity, there is third week. There is kind of a stagnation. Um, you're not going. You, you. It looks like you, many of you is not going to be able to meet uh, to get things done. Uh, you're going to try hard. To, you, you are stubborn person. You're going to try hard to to do it, um, but it's not going to work out. Um, so you may even focus, uh, you may even lose your focus um, and you may feel uh, some kind of boredom. So take it easy, it's 30 week, just take it easy. Um, the last week of the month, there is get, things are getting better, you're getting fresh start, there is some kind of fresh start, some kind of new project or something like that. Many of you are going to have some new project going on. There is visible success. There is first sign of visible success in the fourth week. Whatever you take took on after uh, whatever you was uh, st having stagnation with this guy in the third week, or maybe you took new project, things start going to better. They are visible success, first sign of success. Um, so this, the things are get, getting better in progress. This is looking better. Um, the third week is kind of difficult, but everything else is okay. Um, so let's see more light on the first week with which cards, tarot, uh, which tarot, uh, green, which tar card, tarot cards. Uh, we have Empress with Knight of Atomus. So let's see some more light shining on the first week. Um, it looks like you're gonna be forced in the first week to take fast to make fast decision whatever in some area of your, of your life. Um, it's going to be some kind of cha challenge going on, starting on for you. Uh, you may even confront, confront some injustice or something like that. Um, in terms of love, you may get some new affair going on or um, some change in, exact, in existing relationship. Uh, so many of you uh, may have um, go to business trip or something like that. In terms of money, um, the guy suggested you to act quickly in, in terms of financial matters. So um, there is kind of fast decision act quick, to act quickly in terms of some kind of stuff that is what is going on in the first week. That is good. Um, the second week is King of Pentacles with Ten of Atomus. Okay, let's see what is going on in here. Um, there is kind of an ending. Um, this guy, uh, with this guy, managing things in your life in the second week that you coming with some end you finishing something there is some kind of finishing 
finish in some um, some work of your life or your work um, in terms of love it may be um, you may experience some kind of betrayal or something like that it may be some kind of difficult ending um, um, it's kind of, um, but you're gonna put your some kind of end. You're gonna put some end on some kind of difficult stuff that was going on in your life. Like putting end of some difficult situation, difficult stuff. The manager is here. He's gonna help you with that. Um, so the third week you have harvest and knight of pentacles with harvest. Oh my God! Let's see. Knight of pentacles with harvest. Um, it's time to review your, your life. To see what is holding you back to reach your highest highest heights so it's time to see what is um what is this that is the reason that you have stagnation that you not moving on um you losing your focus because there, you have to review your life to see what is that um it's time to look at that to face it it's kind of time this is this is kind of the card of judgment um it's time for new awakening uh, and uh, make making ch making changes in your life for a better. Whatever you mistake made in 2017, it's time to fix it, um, to change the course of your um, life. So there is um, last week we have eight of pentacles and page of pentacles. Lots of pentacles. It looks, it looks good. It looks like you're getting some new work on. Um, it's going it's getting successful um some kind of project some kind of um apprenticeship you're learning new skills it's very good you're going on uh, it's going on very well um things are getting done uh so you are your dedication um, brings rewards you're working hard um and focusing on the purpose uh, so I, like i said you may start to learn new skills and there is going to be successful And um, so, clarify for the first week uh, we have um, Queen of Fire. With those guys, we have Queen of Fire. And Queen of Fire has message for you. The Queen of Fire says, motto is, I'm capable of strong friendship that inspire me and encourage me to express myself in my own in my own way. So your Friendship, friendship, and your family life is gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Um, so that's gonna be very good for you in the first week. For second week, clarify we have with this manager in the ending. Uh, we have seven of air, and seven of air has a message for you too. Um, living life on one's terms without people pleasing. So you wanna try. Um, Manage, manage, manage your stuff. You're gonna manage your stuff um, very well, and you're gonna have to some ending. You're gonna um, live your life without um, people pleasing. You're gonna work your own stuff. You don't care what somebody else is talking around. You're gonna work and you're gonna finish your things. What was not okay, like it's some kind of ending, maybe painful, but it's gonna be finished. Um, so you're not people pleaser. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna focus on what you need to do, what is for you correct. That's good as well. And the third week, you have ten of fire with this um, stagnation and <clears throat> judgment. Stagnation because of judgment and changes. You have seven. Oh, sorry, ten of fire. And ten of fire is um, ending clear way for beginning. So you are finishing something. You, this stagnation is because of ending. You put again on some stuff in your life, some things, some relationship, job, whatever is that there is different things for, for many of you, maybe um, some kind of job or some relationship. Um, so ending clear way for beginnings. And clarifier for the third week is um, also ready for the last week for fourth. With with start, starting a new fresh business and um, challenge, working um, successful on appre being apprenticeship. Apprentice. Uh, so you have um, hard working, uh, proceeding with integrity. 
this dedication, with this hard work and this start success, you're gonna be um, stuck with that. You're gonna work on that. That's very, very good. That's fine. That's that's Earth energy. Um, for all month, overall month, we have <clears throat> for overall month we have energy of um, high priestess for you. Um, it, the high priestess is time when mysteries are gonna revealed, and you can grow as a result. Trust your um, that you have access to higher wisdom. So something hidden is about to come forth. Something what was hidden for you is gonna come forth. So that was the message for the month of January for you, this, this Sagitta, uh, the uh, Capricorn. I wish you all the best in the month of January. Uh, see you in the February. <clears throat> I just wanna tell you one small uh, announcement. Um, I. I said before New Year I'm going to offer private reading in starting January, but because of some technical problems that I experienced, I'm not going to be able to do that in January. As soon as I have fixed it, then I'm going to um, let you know. So for now, we're just going to start with this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Don't forget to share. Um, don't forget to, sus to subscribe. So see you in month of February. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Bye.